Okay, let's walk back in time okay. just for a minute. Uh, so before before wheat <laughs> before wheat arrived on the scene, mm -hmm. in the days of hunters and gatherers, um, first of all, people were healthier, and second, so far as we know, they were more equal. Mm -hmm. And um, in the days of nomadic uh, horse herders, there really were women who rode around on horseback wearing pants and shooting bows and arrows. Uh, so that's what the Greeks based the Amazons on. Wheat arrives and a couple of things happen. Number one, you've got a surplus and ne therefore you can pay a standing army. And what is your standing army going to defend? It's going to defend the territory where you're growing the wheat. It gets very circular. And at that moment we see women being fed less well than men. So men are getting meat and wheat and women are only getting wheat. Mm -hmm. and bone diseases. Uh, so you also want to produce a lot of children to help you grow the wheat. And I think that's when things went uh, down the slippery slope. But we are now in a different age. We're in an age in which upper body strength to defend the wheat um, <laughs> with your sword and armor and whatnot. Um, that's not s such a necessity anymore. Because guess what? Women can work a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> and also they have this thing called a brain. <laughs> so in an age in which brains and keyboards are quite important, women get an edge again. They, they get a better position. So I think we are on the up from the, from the moment when it was wheat. And it was nothing but wheat. 